please welcome to the stage Dr. Geronda Crawford and Dr. Hiram Crawford on behalf of the Faith-Based Credit Union Alliance. As two of the founding members of the Faith-Based Credit Union Alliance, my wife, Dr. Geronda Crawford, and myself, <laughs> Dr. Hiram Crawford, would like to thank you for and be able to accept this honor from the National Credit Union Foundation's Herb Wagner Outstanding Organization Award on behalf yes. of the Faith-Based Credit Union Alliance. Let's ask you to stand up, face, yes. face, credit, <laughs> ladies. Yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. Please accept our gratitude for uh, your recognition of the collective efforts to serve some of the most vulnerable communities, mainly in Chicago and in, now in the rest of the nation. We would like to especially thank Mr. Tom Kane, I think he's in the back somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> President of the Illinois Credit Union League for nominating our little alliance for this prestigious award and for their continuing support. We'd like also to recognize and thank our partners from Inclusive. Mm. Yes. <laughs> The Illinois Credit Union Foundation, AMI, CUNA Mutual Group, CUNA, NCUA, and our phenomenal Faith-Based Credit Union Alliance, Alliance. partners <laughs> who <laughs> saw our shared vision and commitment to improve the services and financial well-being of African American and other minority communities we serve. To, to God, God be, be the, the glory. glory. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's right. Through the collaborative efforts of the FBCUA, members gain the tangible benefits of mandatory training, support, advocacy, networking, pooling financial resources, contract negotiation, grant writing, partnership opportunities that in ensure that our member credit unions remain alive, vital, and not left behind. Our shared collective vision has allowed us to work together to achieve economies of scale and purchase a shared core processor for all the credit unions working together, which will provide technology solutions and modernize our electronic infrastructure and for members' experiences. Our credit unions will be able to deliver remote access to products and services, retain and grow membership, and utilize digital media marketing campaigns, all despite usual capacity limitations mm -hmm. based on our individual asset sizes. Each of the collaborative efforts of our alliance expands access to capital in underserved communities and supports financial inclusion. By harnessing the knowledge of the certified financial counselors within the Faith-Based Credit Union Alliance to provide financial guidance, financial literacy, credit counseling, tax preparation, retirement, and estate planning, we 
change lives. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Last year, the FBCUA celebrated its 10th anniversary by hosting a virtual gala attended by many industry professionals, including Rodney Hood, who was the chairman of the NCUA board, Tom Kane, president of the Illinois Credit Union League, Tom Sakish, CUNA's manager of small credit union initiatives, Cliff Rosenthal, founder of Inclusive, and many, many more. Our, <laughs> our celebration with the culmination of our unique success story, which has been built on relationships between visionary leaders from credit unions chartered back in the 50s and 60s as a call to action to provide African-American and minority communities, residents of the South and West Sides of Chicago with safe, reliable, and affordable financial products and services. We also want to take a moment to recognize individuals whose ongoing support, guidance, and dedication have helped to make the FBCUA what it is today, without whom we certainly would not have received this award. Robin Hollis. Hey. <laughs> Regional director from the Illinois Credit Union League has been a tremendous support for the past six years. Prior to her, we had the assistance of Joyce Jackson, also of ICUL, <laughs> and Malia Peel of NCUA. We share a special, special thank you to these ladies for their help all these years. Today, our growing alliance consists of 21 credit unions. The majority are small, faith-based credit unions with assets around $500,000. Designated minority depository institutions, of which 12 are CDFI certified, which makes up, amen. <laughs> that makes up 58% of the CDFIs in the state of Illinois serving diverse denominations throughout Chicago, Springfield, Illinois, Houston, Texas, and now Louisville, Kentucky. <laughs> At this moment, I cannot help but think about my, my late father-in-law, the Reverend Hiram Crawford Sr., who planted the passion and spirit of the importance of credit unions in my husband and me. He started a credit union in every state that the denomination sent him to. He sounded the voice of collaboration and the important role that credit unions play to shape the uh, communities. He encouraged both of us to stand up for financial equality and literacy. His shared love and commitment to credit unions is evident in our Faith Faith Credit Union Alliance membership. We understand what it means for people to help people achieve their dreams. With a pioneering spirit based down through the ages, we help people whom often lack the necessary resources to help themselves. Our spirit and resolve stands up for the underserved with a collaborative and collective mission. Like others before us, continues to sow and plant seeds of hope in communities. On behalf of every volunteer, every colleague and credit union leader who make up the Faith-Based Credit Union Alliance, we thank you for the opportunity to share this journey. May, May God, God bless, bless each, each of, of you, you and your, your credit, credit unions. unions. Hey. God bless you. Hey.